strange music launches and it starts to build up. Mm-hmm. How long before you guys start actually seeing money in? 2006. And that was how, how, how much time had passed at that point? Um, we signed our first deal. Let me see. Like, what, like, let me see. Let me get this right. I get the gears fucked up. Um, we got with MSC, I think, for Angelic Reparation. Angelic, Angelic Reparation, Absolute Power, um, Vintage Tech, and our first DVD. It was through like a Sony Red kind of like thing. Mm-hmm. Got paid for none of that. They said we owed money and we tried to sue them for all those years and we just got tired of trying to sue them and spending all kind of money. So we said, fuck it. Got with another partner, Fontana. 06, we put out Ever Ready. Fontana was a good partner. You know what I'm saying? We're still connected because In Grooves bought Fontana. You know what I'm saying? And we're still mm-hmm. with In Grooves. You know what I mean? So we've been doing good business with them since 06. Absolute power. That was the breakout record. Mm-mm. No? Nope. It was Angelic. Was that before or after? Angelic was 2001. Absolute Power was 2002. Okay, so Angelic was the first one that really broke out. Mm-hmm. How many copies sold? I don't know. A lot? It's still selling, yeah. A few hundred thousand? Mm-hmm. Right, because Absolute Power, you sold 250,000. Something like that. Something like that. And you were kind of the prototype for a rapper starting their own successful, independent music label. You look at like, like a Chance the Rapper these days, how he's doing what he's doing. He kind of took, yes. you know, not, not to say that he looked at you and said, this is what I'm going to do. Maybe. But, you know, Because we, we looked at E-40 and would sit yeah. with it and we looked at Master P would, you know what I'm saying? And, this is true. You know this is, yeah, ICP I, 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 I with I psychopathic, you know what I'm saying? Like, You're right. It was other yeah, people I, out I there doing it. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just took the knowledge and we did it our way. And we became the number one independent record label in the world. Exactly. With the show and merchandise aspect of it, was that bringing most of the money, you think? More so yeah, than the did. record sales? Yeah, it did. You know what I'm saying? We got out there and toured. You know what I mean? And that's how we got our humongous fan base. Our merchandise, our touring schedule, you know what I'm saying? Was crazy. And it still is to this day. How many shows do you do in a year? Uh, 250. So you're doing shows more than you're not doing shows. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go on a tour. Um, April 17th, a 64-day tour. I mean, 62-day tour in 60-some days. I don't know. There was always rumors that you were a devil worshiper. Yeah, that, that's... Why, why is that? It was because... Was it um, 666? Or, no. Weren't you... Was there something like that or no? Mm-mm. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. My I wouldn't bad. know 666. Never that. I would never do that. I was from a um, Christian home and a Muslim home. It's just um, nobody was painting their face. Nobody had red spikes, and I was I was speaking about my religious beliefs, and people thought I were I was playing with religion, and I wasn't playing at all. I was like, you know, I'm an angel in hell. I'm a worldly mm-hmm. angel. And, Oh, angelic. Angelic. Oh, I see. Angelic. Angel in hell. Angelic, yes. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And um, a lot of people didn't like the artwork. Me as the angel, and I told a story with the artwork. And like, I'm the angel in the middle in purgatory. Got the hands from heaven trying to pull me up, and the hands from hell trying to pull me down. And I told the story on the inside, and the, and the result was the beast. And it was me in a devil suit that did it. 